Welcome to the Superintendent Book Club as we celebrate the holiday season. I have quite a special book to share with you titled The Wish Tree. Words are by Kayo McClear and pictures by Chris Turnham. So let's see what this wonderful book has to say. Charles wanted to find a wish tree. His brother said, there is no such thing. His sister said, there is no such thing. But Charles said, what do you think, Bagen? And Bagen thought, surely there was such a thing. So the next morning, Charles and Bagen set forth. His brother said, bring a map. His sister said, don't forget a compass. But Charles and Bagen were already well on their way into the woods. la di da di da sang Charles. Whoosh, sang Bagen. They had the whole day ahead of them. The whole day to find a wish tree. Up, up to the top of a hill they climbed and down, down to a frosty meadow they slid where Charles went, Boggin followed. Where Boggin went, Charles followed. Charles and Boggin did not see the wish tree, but they did see Squirrel, who was puzzling over how to get some hazelnuts to his home. Hold on tight. la di da di da di da sang Charles. Whoosh, sang Boggin. So long, squirrel. Slow, slow through the snow they went, and hush, hush, past bears then they crept. Where Charles went, Boggin followed. Where Boggin went, Charles followed. They did not see a wish tree anywhere, but they did see, hmm, what do you think they see now? <gasps> a beaver! who was busy gathering birch wood to bring to his lodge. Let's go. la di da di da di da sang Charles. Whoosh, sang Boggin. Bye-bye, beaver. Slide, glide, cross the ice they slipped, past a few logs and around a bend. Where Charles went, Boggin followed. Where Boggin went, Charles followed. The wish tree was nowhere to be found, but they did find. Who you think they found now? Fox, who was late getting berries to her burrow. Load him up. la di da di da di da sang Charles. Whoosh, sang Boggin. Keep warm, Fox. Now they had less than half the day ahead of them less than half the day to find a wish tree. We may need to move a little faster, Boggin, said Charles. Hmm. Do you think Charles is getting discouraged? Help me cheer Charles up because we can't let him get discouraged. Let's see what's happening with Charles and Boggin now. Charles and Boggin were moving very slowly now. Their shadows were growing longer. The day was almost behind them. Boggin, Charles said, I'm tired. I cannot search any longer. Uh-oh. My poor Charles seems to be giving up. Let's see what's going to happen next. Shh, whisper Boggin. When Charles woke, it was snowing. It was snowing on squirrel. It was snowing on beaver. It was snowing on fox. It was snowing on everyone. For a moment, Charles could not see through the falling snow. But then he said, Oh, look. What do you think Charles saw? <gasps> See, Boggin, said Charles, just as we thought. And Boggin said, whoosh. Charles wrote his wish on a piece of paper and tied it around a branch of the wish tree. <sighs> Charles found the wish tree, guys. 
Are you ready to write your wish on a piece of paper? The snow was falling more gently now. The animals had prepared a night fest with hazelnut, souffle, a pot of birch tea, and biscuits made of berries. Charles and Boggin celebrated with their friends until it was time to be on their way. The moon was glowing brightly. La di da di da, sang Charles. Whoosh, sang Boggin, all the way home. The end. I hope that this holiday, just like Charles and Boggin, you take some time to write a wish or a hope that you have for this upcoming new year and find that wish tree in your backyard or in your home, could even be a plant, and hang it so that your wishes can come true this holiday season. Happy holidays.